second. solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. The first method is to get access to a Facebook user's account, and then you can read messages, chats, and other information. How can you do that? Let's suppose there is a computer used by the person whose Facebook account you want to get access to. Start the computer. If you already have access to the person's account, or you know the password, or there is no password at all, it's wonderful, just sign in. If you don't have access to this account, don't worry, you can sign in without the password as well. There is a special detailed video on how to sign into Windows without knowing the account, password, reset or hide the password. You will find the link in the description. After you have signed into the computer of the person you are interested in, run Hetman Internet Spy. Find the download link in the description as before. Select System Analysis, and after it's complete, choose the user. Here is one very important thing. To get access to the registration data of the user in social media, it's better to sign in to Windows from this user's account. It's really important because the system will not give one user's account the access to personal data and passwords of the other account. Choose a browser for analysis. You need to analyze the particular browser that this user prefers. To find out which one is the favorite browser, go to Windows Settings, Apps, Default Apps. In the web browser line, you'll see the default browser name. Usually, it's the one the user opens every time, every day, and so on. Run the browser analysis. However, you can choose to analyze all browsers one by one until you find the application containing the necessary information you are looking for. Let's see what data we can view after the browser analysis. Now we can see the complete browsing history for the selected user. It is represented chronologically in the history menu. There is so much data. If you are looking for a way to get access to a Facebook account, the first thing to check is if the program succeeded in extracting the Facebook password. To do it, go to the Passwords menu. This is where you can see all logins and passwords saved by the browser, including those to Facebook. If you find the password to the Facebook account you have been looking for, that's wonderful, just go there and enter the password. In this case, that's all. You have access now. You can move on to Messenger service integrated with every account and read all chats and messages. By going to Activity Log, you can see all the user's actions, likes and publications and even geolocation data. But sometimes, people don't use social media on a computer. It might be an office computer where social media are forbidden. But it never stops anyone from using Facebook Messenger for both work and private communication. It's the Messenger integrated into every Facebook account, but as you know, it has a version for mobile devices, a very seldom used desktop version, and a popular web interface version. To use it, you don't have to sign into a Facebook account, just go to the official web page www.messenger.com, log in with your Facebook login and password, and you'll be able to view the entire chat history and everything sent or received in the Messenger. Why am I talking about it? <laughs> if there is no Facebook.com among the websites, logins and passwords detected by Hetman Internet Spy, but there is Messenger.com, it will be enough to gain access to all of the user's messages and chats. You will also see accounts of the people to whom messages were sent by following the links. It was the second method. However, if the person you are interested in doesn't use Facebook on this computer and the program hasn't shown any data on their account to Messenger, but Hetman Internet Spy shows you the logins and passwords to email accounts belonging to this user, one of them might be the email to which the Facebook account you need is connected. It will be the third method. How can you use it? Let's see. 
Every Facebook account is usually connected to an email, where notifications are sent about important events in such an account, including notifications about received messages. That is, when a user receives a message in Facebook, a notification is sent to the user's email. So when you gain access to the email box of such user, you'll be able to read the information on the user's incoming messages in Facebook. In some mail services, such messages go to the Social tab instead of the Primary tab. The disadvantage of this method is that you can't view the contents of the message. Anyway, you can be sure that this is the email connected to the Facebook account. In our channel, there is a very detailed video about getting access to someone's email. Follow the link in the description and have a look. Having gained access to the user's email, you will have no difficulty resetting the password of the Facebook account connected to such an email. To do it, go to facebook.com from any computer. Instead of entering the login and password, click on the link Forgotten Account. Enter the email address, which you know is connected to the user's account. Select Send code via email. Continue. As a result, this email will receive a code required to restore access to this Facebook account. Enter it into the special field. Next. Now set up a new password. Next. Next. That's all. Now this account is all yours. By the way, here is one more important observation. If the program didn't find the password to the Facebook account you need or the connected mailbox, but you can see that other mailboxes, website or social media accounts, which Hetman Internet Spy also shows, share one and the same password, there are high chances that this password can be used for the Facebook account as well. Try signing in with such a password. People often use the same password for their accounts at various web resources. Here's the next step. It's quite possible that this menu will not show the passwords to the mailboxes and social media accounts, but only logins. Remember, if you have previously reset the password for signing in the Windows account, the program will not show you the passwords to this user's accounts. It happens that way because of the Microsoft security system. In this case, set a password to this Windows account of this user and restart the computer. To do it, go to Control Panel, User Accounts, Manage an author account, select the account, create a password. Or you can go to Settings, Accounts, Sign in options, Password, Add. After that, use Hetman Internet Spy to analyze the system again. As a result, you'll see passwords to the user accounts that have been detected. And even if for some reason you fail to gain access to the social media account or the connected email, there is still one more trick left. It can help you to get the information about the user's activity in Facebook, view visited web pages, confirm the fact of receiving messages, and see the logins of the users who sent messages in Facebook. To do it, in Hetman Internet Spy, go to the menu History – Mail. It shows all email messages sent or received from any email address with this browser. The data is represented chronologically. Hetman Internet Spy shows headings of all possible emails, the source email address and the destination email address, including notifications about messages received on Facebook. You will see who and when sent messages through Facebook. You could make a search easier by going to the Social Media tab. You can spot the information about Facebook by seeing the corresponding icon. In the title column, you can see headings of all web pages visited in a social network, be it someone's page, a search query, and so on. Even this information is enough to understand what this person did on Facebook and who they communicated to. Sometimes you have to visit a person's page on Facebook to send them a message, you know. Clicking on one of the messages with a Facebook icon on it, in the right side panel you can see lots of information on messages from this social network. Have a look at the account ID line. 
This program lets you see the account ID of the user you are interested in. To see who the person wrote to, have a look at the URL or account ID. It will be the account ID of the person with whom the user exchanged messages. And even if you are not going to hack an account, this program will come in handy to restore a lost or forgotten password at any time or view overall browsing activity. Just in case, don't forget to read our articles about the user data you can view on Facebook, how to find out if an account was hacked, how to restore access or delete a Facebook account. You will find the link in the description as usual. That is all for now. If you found this video useful, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. Ask questions in our comments, hit the bell button to enable notifications about our new videos. Thank you for watching and good luck!